we, as every good-hearted people, want the perpetrators of this heinous crime involving the triple murder in Israel to be solved. But we know, and all right-thinking people know, that the only way you solve a murder, or a triple murder, is you conduct your interrogation with integrity. This is the opposite. This is ensuring that whatever comes out of this interrogation will be corrupt and will be tainted. That's why, besides for the fact that this is our family member, we are extremely disturbed by what's going on. We cannot find any explanation for why this gross violation of uh, our relative, this minor's human rights are being perpetrated. This has been before... He also has dual citizenship. Most disturbingly, this has been set before a judge in Israel who was given full knowledge by the Shabbat as to the harsh interrogation techniques that were being used. And amazing to us, as people who believe in justice and due process, the judge once given the knowledge by Shabbat that the interrogation was going beyond any purposeful means, meaning torture was being used, allowed with full knowledge the Shabbat's torture interrogation to continue. So I conclude my remarks by saying we believe in the integrity of the, uh, the democracy that's in Israel. We are right-thinking Zionists, but we want due process to go forward so that the perpetrators of this crime can be caught. And we believe that as much publicity should be brought to bear against the interrogation techniques that Shabbat is perpetrating against our relative. Thank you. There are things that must be said, even if it is unpopular or uncomfortable to say so. There has been a festival of lies on television in Israel during the past two and a half weeks. This festival involves trying to explain to the public the roots of Jewish terror and how the attack in Duma is the cause of Arab terror waves. And then he puts in parentheses, because before Duma, there was no Arab terror, of course. The Jewish division of the Shabbat has set their priorities clearly, and they have scoured the law books carefully to find loopholes that allow them to use methods never used before against Jews, and even several methods that have never even been used against Arabs. Further, they have no problem violating the laws that they cannot simply skirt around. All this in order to stop terror. The terror they focused on stopping is not the terror that has blown up buses, nor the terror that has kidnapped and murdered dozens of soldiers and children, nor the terror that tries to stab, massacre, and drive into men, women, and children every day. No, not that terror. Jewish terror is the problem. Jewish terror that can hardly be compared to Arab terror, which has left thousands murdered, maimed, and injured is the problem. Jewish terror in contract has left graffiti, punctured tires, and broken tree branches. And now they are trying to blame the, ar the arson on Jewish terror. And yes, they are trying to blame it on Jews because until now no one has proven otherwise. Not in the five months that have passed since, and not in the past two weeks where they have tortured Jewish children by violating their civil and human rights. But still, everything is silent and quiet. Everything is happening deep in the pits of the Shabbat interrogation rooms under a very concerning gag order. Everything is done there, and still nothing has come out of there. The long string of Arab terror attacks over many years stand in clear contract to so-called Jewish terror that hardly exists. Shall have it passed, the Hankin family, the Littman family, the Fogel family, the Shabo family, the Gavish family, Adel Beton, Chaim Bervon, Shloma Nativ, Yonatan Parma, Asha Hasno, etc., etc., are many, and they are just, um, are they just the beginning? The real question is not really one of Jewish terror, but one of policy against Arab terror. Will we finally decide to put an end to terror, or will we choose to restrain ourselves and accept being murdered regularly? We are not the source of terror, and the time has come to stop the real terror now.